Ashe, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for your continued love and support. Let's go ahead and tap right on in and see what messages Spirit has for you all. Great Spirit, what messages are there for whoever clicks onto this video? All right, shadow work. So what I'm picking up on is you guys are definitely um, in the midst of doing shadow work, okay? It says uncover every part of you that has been repressed and abandoned. So some of you guys are dealing with abandonment issues, okay? Or you guys have been abandoned in your, like in the past by family members, possibly by your parents, or this is giving me the energy that nobody is ever there for you, okay? Or that's what it feels like to you or people just are not there in the way that you really need them to be they may be there for you but it's 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 not effective for you because it's not what you did what you really need or something um it's also giving you know restriction people want to keep you repressed people want to keep you restricted Okay, so you feel repressed and you feel abandoned. You feel, you know, like people don't have your back. You may feel like people want to want you to fail. People don't want to see you win. It's like even if they don't want to see you win, it's almost like people want to it's almost like people are working hard to to see you fail or something like that. Okay? And that could all be part of your shadow work that you're dealing with. Okay? Cleansing out the energies um within yourself that is attracting that type of energy that you know um so that's what i'm picking up on here okay you may need to create a routine i know that came out in one of the other readings as well so i definitely see you guys are uh, uncovering the darkest parts of yourself or if you guys are not in the healthiest uh, environments, if you guys are not in the healthiest relationships, if you guys are keep attracting people that, uh, it just seems like they're not for you or, you know, they're not supportive in some type of way, then it's all a part of this shadow work. That way you can, it's almost happening. So you can know what you don't want. That way you can manifest what it is that you do desire, you know? So, um, just continue to press through whatever it is that you're experiencing and trust and believe that there is a rainbow on the other side of the tunnel, okay? Yeah, fuck being nice. You ain't got to be nice to nobody, okay? Just be yourself, you know? Be you and everybody else has to adjust. If people don't, you know, people may want to control you. People may, you know, not like what you do, what you say, what you wear, you know, those types of things, but you have to be you no matter what. And this shadow work is continuously helping you to uncover who you are so you can see who you are, so you can be 100% comfortable with the authentic version the most authentic version of yourself it's like woo! i said a whole lot within these first three minutes with this shadow work right born to stand out yeah you was born to stand out so it's like you have to it's like you have to do the necessary work to um get rid of all of the the this this the shadow side of you you know to be able to really deal with it deal with any traumas and so forth that way you can comfortably walk in your purpose walk in your power walk in your prosperity and so you can truly stand out i feel like you standing out is intimidating for a lot of people you know um and it is attracting a lot of uh maybe people that that has something to say you know or they they may they they may feel, you may make people feel small so they may make they may say things to you to try to make you feel small you know they may try to find something wrong with you and mention that or you know something like that you know this could be strangers this could be people you know it could be co-workers it could be anybody right and I feel like because most people, they, they're afraid to be themselves. They're afraid to stand out. A lot of people, they shy away from attention. A lot of people, you know, um, when people walk in the room and they got that big energy, uh, for most people, it makes them feel like, dang, I wish I could be that. Or it makes them feel like, it makes them feel some type of way inside. And I feel like that's the type of energy you have with this born to stand out. Anytime you walk in a room, you have that big energy. And a lot of people may say you being extra. Some people may say, you know, um, that you, you're too confident or why you talk like that, why you walk like that, why you look like that, why you whatever. They're going to try to label it or label you. 
to as something is wrong because they're un, they're uncomfortable with themselves just because you stand out or just because you have this big energy and people want to contain you in a box but the thing is they're just too small for your big energy you know so you have to be comfortable continuously being you and it's like that's why you keep encountering certain people or certain situations that way you can truly not give a f like i said f being nice that way you can truly you know keep on uh keep uh keep on your journey uh a hundred percent comfortable within yourself spirit is telling you to have faith anytime you walk into a room spirit sent you there so it, whoever you are why do you have to change who you are to make other people feel comfortable you shouldn't have to do that so if being who you are makes other people feel uncomfortable then that is on them but you should why i mean you know how many people there are in this world there's eight billion people in this world so you can't change to please every person. So you have to please yourself and that's it. And if other people are uncomfortable, if other people are intimidated, that's a personal problem. They have to figure that out on themselves. But you continue to have faith and you continue to stand out. It says, remove the doubts and remove the doubts and I'm going to add fears and questions. You are ready to step into your blessings and claim what is already yours. Yeah. It's like you're walking in your blessings and a lot of people don't know how to get to the level that you're on. A lot of people don't know how to have faith. Like you have faith. A lot of people don't know how to be confident, how you're confident. A lot of people don't know how to be comfortable within themselves, how you are. And that makes them feel some type of way. So if you keep encountering this shadow work type of energy, okay, where there's the shadow version of yourself, that's all it is when you're meeting these people or when you're connecting with these people. It's only a different version of you. It's everything and everyone is a reflection of ourselves, whether we want to deal with that or not. It's a reflection of ourselves. So it's something within you that's attracting those type of people, attracting those experiences, but it's always used for your good. You have to even know in the word, the Bible as a metaphysical tool, so to speak, you know, a lot of the words that are in there, a lot of the statements that are in there, the, the, the scriptures that are in there, it's, it's like how I said, it's all meant for your good. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, it's only helping you. Yeah. You guys can have people that are obsessed with you. Yeah. Just be, I said this earlier, just be yourself, be yourself. Just be you. You were born for big things. Every day you gotta wake up and dream. Somebody is waiting on you. So what are you gonna choose? There's money out here to be made. Just keep going and let the haters hey hey. Just be you. And let these people obsess over you. Be like, yes, darling. Yes, I know you're obsessing over, over me. Let them growl at the mouth. They supposed to obsess over you. Allow yourself to be. You do not have to prove a damn thing. Confidence will flow into you when you are divinely you. See? <laughs> you ain't got to prove nothing to nobody. People, I had a dream where I don't know where I was or what's going on. It's, a, it's very faint, but... I was at somewhere and this lady was behind, sitting behind a desk. It seemed like it could have been a library or something. I don't know. But she was like, I'm going to just question you. And I was like, why would you question me instead of getting to know me? Like she was going to like question me, kind of like, well, like test me, question me, that type of thing, you know? And I was like, why wouldn't you just get to know me? She was like, no, no, no. She was just being real nasty like that. And I was like, yeah, I'm good. And she was like, where? And I started walking away. She's like, where are you going? Like, is that, that's what was going on in the dream. And it's like, I don't know if that's somebody in waking life that wants to be in that energy towards me or what. But, you know, it's that's just the dream I had, you know. So it's like people want to try to find ways to make you succumb to what they want you to do. And it's like people like to control everybody, everything and everyone except for themselves. And it's like, if it's like all the attention is on you because you're just being you. And even if you're going through trials and tribulations, you're handling it better than the people who ain't going through anything because they don't feel good about themselves on the inside. But they can tell by how you walk, how you talk, how you move, and how you how, everything that you do, that you're comfortable on the inside of you. And that irks people's souls. Your light irritates people's demons and they don't like that. The fact that you can walk away and they can't get you to do what you what they want you to do, which is control you, it irritates them. But keep being you. Keep doing doing what you're doing. 
Great Spirit, this ring is sticking, standing out to me. Is is I know it's a heart, but it's also giving me a crown. So you guys put your crown on as well. Some of you guys may make jewelry or something like that as well. Make or sell jewelry. Yeah, I'm getting this been a cold, dark night looking at this card. It's been very rainy and so forth, you know. And it's like you've been out here all alone. Ain't nobody came to help you. You see, this person's by themselves standing out. All these are cards of individuality. Just be yourself. Stand out. The way you dress. The way you want to rock your hair. The way you want to wear your nails. The type of jewelry you want to wear. I saw this lady in the store. Old lady. She had piercings all around her mouth. And on her cheeks and everything else. It's like you could tell she... I don't know if she did it when she was younger or when she did it when she was older. I don't even know. But she was at least, she was at least 50. I really want to say she was in her 60s. You get what I'm saying? So it's like... <laughs> do you be you and it's like it's almost like she could have been like a motorcycle chick or a biker chick or something like that but not really but you know but um but she looked like she was frail at the same time so that's what was gonna make me say she she could have did it when she was younger but she has she has to keep up with it you know she clearly still likes it in you know so it's like somebody could easily say, oh, you too old to be having all that in your face and piercings and stuff. Like, be you, no matter how old or young you are. We're all individual. We're not supposed to be like each next person. Even if you're a twin, you're an individual person. So be comfortable being who you are. Yeah, because you glue up. You're glowing up and you shining and a lot of people haven't figured themselves out yet. A lot of people walking around here stuck. They don't know what they want to do. They stuck at jobs that they hate. You know, it's like they're stuck in relationships that they don't know how to get out of because they don't, they're afraid to be by themselves and whatever the case may be. But it's like you, you're comfortable with yourself. You, you, you ain't in no, no situations that, you know, people can, can just treat you any other type of way. If you don't like something, you move around. You're like, no, nah, I'm good on that. You don't let nothing or nobody hold you down. And if it is a situation where it's like, okay, you just deal with it and until it's over, till you ride the elevator, till it's done, and when the door is open, you step the fuck off. You, you just go through it. If, if 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 it's a situation where it's like, let's say if you you got to be somewhere for, for whatever reason, you're like, oh, okay, oh, okay. It is you. It's it's to help. It's to help you learn how to deal with your feelings. It's to help you learn how to deal with your emotions and so forth. So it's it's all lessons in it. And like I said, you ride that elevator up or down wherever it's going, and then you get the fuck off. I'm gonna say down because you exit the motherfucking building. <laughs> you don't even want to be in the building no more. You don't want to have nothing to do with it. But people may look at you like you strange when it's like when you went like because of the way you talk or your presence or whatever. But in reality, you know, it's like they're the ones that that, you know, need to get to discover who they are, you know, instead of talking down on you or instead of looking at you like you crazy. It's like, no, if, if that's what if, if knowing myself means I'm crazy, then I'll be that. <laughs> look what came back out. Spirit has got something to say. Spirit says all these people, like even being at the stove, it's like just seeing how it's like, man, people just, people don't know what they want. People don't, it's like, that's another thing. I'm in the stove. I'm moving around. Like I know where I'm going. I know what I want. Everybody else is moving slow. They don't know what they want. They don't know. You know what I mean? And it's like, people look at me, they, excuse me, they get, they get out my way because I know where I'm going. I, it's like, and, or I'll be like, excuse me. I'm not afraid to use my voice. You know, some people may say it's too, but it's not. <laughs> I, I'm powerful and I'm not going to shrink my being who I am to make somebody else feel comfortable. I will not. I'm not rude. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But I have a very powerful voice. Y'all hear my voice? I can't tone my voice down even if I wanted to. This is how God created me. I'm created in the image of God. So if people don't like me, if people don't like you, tell them to take it up with higher power. Tell them to take it up with source. Tell them to take it up with the all. The beginning and the and the end, the alpha and the omega. Okay, this all of this that you're experiencing, it could be because of some type of past life uh, that you had. Okay, is what I'm picking up on, or people of the in your past life. You know, they could have influenced. You know, why you are the way that you are now. Okay, in this lifetime, and so all this shadow work is coming out now. But spirit is saying, like I just said, my I, excuse me. <laughs> And people be looking at me like, who is that? You know, because my voice is, it can be kind of, you know, like, 
out of nowhere almost. And I, I got, I gather that, but I'm comfortable with me. You know, it, it, it's my voice is very alerting or it can, it can be almost alarming. You know, if you, if you're not expecting that type of voice to say, excuse me or whatever I'm saying, you know what I mean? And it's like, it's not rude, but I ain't got to be nice. Nice for what Drake? Be nice, but not, but be nice, but not too nice. Not everyone deserves your kindness. You get what I'm saying? Not everyone deserves you to be kind and for, for you to be all this nice to them and all that. Nah. So let's see what else is coming out. Receive. Yes. It's time for you to receive here. It's like you have some type of gifts or some type of blessings that is coming in for you. Okay. Is what I'm picking up on. I'm hearing you could be receiving some type of miracle or what seems like a miracle to other people, but it's what you've been manifesting. Okay. I feel like you have a lot of different things that you've been manifesting. So people about to see a lot of miracles come out of you. Whoa, that's true. You about to shake some shit up. The camera just should. You about to shake some shit up, period. And they about to see a lot of miracles come out of you. It's like, because spirit is using you as the example when people are in their full God power, then guess what? <laughs> that's that's what we're supposed to be in. But people are afraid to, to be in their full God power. And that shadow work is in the past as well. Spirit says you done with all of this shadow work. You standing out. You've always stood out. Yeah, that five of pentacles, you was out in the cold. But even when you was out in the cold, it's like you were still standing out. And people could have been like, how you got the audacity, you in the situation you in, and you talking like you talking, you powerful, and you 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 using your voice like you is, and you you taking action like you is. Like, bitch, what the fuck else I'm supposed to be doing if I'm in this type of situation? If I am in the midst of shadow work, if I am in the midst of a five of pentacles, duh, motherfucker, I'm supposed to be taking action. I'm supposed to be using my voice. I'm supposed to be being the, the magician right now and using all the tools I have to create a better situation you thought this was like for real you made the best choices for you and your life for you and your situation and that's why you're receiving the these miracles out of you these promises i heard promises you're receiving promises that whatever spirit promised you you're receiving it do y'all see this it flipped over the tower yeah you also had a lot of tower moments as well you had a lot of tower moments as well but something's about to be very explosive, okay? Something could have blew up in somebody's face is what I heard. I heard return to sender. Somebody could have tried to send some energy to you. I, I, I clearly heard return to sender. So somebody could have tried to, wanted to see your downfall as well. This is somebody specific that may have wanted to do this, okay? And it's like, it didn't work. It reached your ceiling. <laughs> or it reached a ceiling. You get what I'm saying? We got the page of pentacles here, Okay? So I feel like whatever new ideas you have or the pages, even though they're a novice, it's like they're solid. They're ready to learn. They're ready to, you know, they want to make it to the king. They want to be the queen or the king of pentacles. You see what I'm saying? So and this is talking about stability. This is talking about your money. So it's like whatever seeds you've been planting, it's like they're going to, it's like you planted a lot of seeds while you was in your tower moments, while you was doing your shadow work, while you was in the five of pentacles, whatever you want to call this energy, you was planting a lot of seeds. Okay. And all these seeds are starting to, they were growing and they're starting to sprout and that's what's making you was already standing out and now you're about to stand out even more it's like you literally are a giant it's like you you going from a bear to a giant it's like so you was already like ah like this big old bear type of energy and now you just going to be like this 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 eight foot giant this 10 foot giant it's like you bigger than everybody and it's like, even if you the smallest, even if you small in stature, even if you, you know, five foot or even if you, you know, whatever short or, or what is, and, and thin or whatever the case may be, it's like, you got all of this, this energy, you got all of this, this charisma is what I'm hearing. You got a lot of force that you got the God force running through you. God is running through you. So if people are intimidated by you, then they intimidate, they intimidated about God. Come on now, because you are anointed. Five of cups here. 
So this could have been you. You could have been like in a very sad uh, type of state, okay? Um, or this could be other people around you that's feeling this way, feeling like you let them down or you feel like other people let you down, okay? Ten of Cups here. Just be yourself even around family, okay? It's like I'm here and don't try to force anything. Don't try to force family to be no type of way. Don't try to force friends to be no type of way. Don't try to force a job. Don't try to force the money. Don't try to force whatever it is that you want to do. Don't try to force it at all. Just let everything flow. And see, you should be, here's another assignment for y'all. I'm always giving y'all homework, right? So here's another assignment for y'all. What I want y'all to do is to not try to, for this next week, don't force anything. Just see what flows to you. Just see what happens. Don't stress nothing. Don't stress no bills. Don't st even if you'll do date th th the same day or the next day you're watching this. Just let. Just promise yourself. You know what? Fuck it. I'ma just let it go, and just see what see what's in your the way that you see what's in your quantum energy field. The way that you see what's around you is to by doing nothing and seeing what flows to you. Pay attention. You got to do inventory on your energy. What are you attracting? What's coming towards you without you having to do anything? What's naturally constantly coming towards you? What type of people are coming towards you? Is your phone ringing? When your phone ring, what's who? What they? What are they saying? What type of energy do they have? Are they excited? See what is all around you. See what's naturally flowing to you. Three of Swords, heartbreak here. You had to do a lot of healing. You was broken hearted. Well, I'm lonely. Broken hearted brandy. Okay, so you could have went through some type of breakup or separation from family, friends, or from material things, whatever the case may be. Let's see what else comes out here. But I see whoever you are, you're very, you're very goal oriented, you're very diligent, you're very ambitious. I heard the future is you, okay? It's like you you're perfectionist, you're gonna make sure it's done, right? Is what I'm picking up on. What else is here? What else is here? Oh. What other messages are here? Look. <laughs> Spirit wanted these two to come out together. I've been talking about the Five of Pentacles this whole time. Even if you're in this Five of Pentacles energy, Spirit is telling you to just be yourself. That's the best thing that you can do. That's the quickest way. To, I, 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 I'm, I'm trying to tell you because that's how I got out of it. All you can do is be yourself when you out in the cold. But guess what? The sun is here. Do y'all see this? The sun is lighting the path for you. The sun is lighting your way out the darkness. It's almost like the sun is putting this tower ablaze. You coming up out the cold could be other people's tower moment. It's like it's like people like you. What they say, people like you when you're working towards something. Now, when you have it, Drake, people like when you was in the cold because they knew that you were meant for greatness. They already knew. They already felt it. Just your energy and your presence. They like you got that 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 high vibrational celebrity type of energy. That feel good energy. So when you're around people, even if you just meet them for the first time, they can they can feel and see the greatness or they know that something's different about you. You get what I'm saying? So it's like people liked you better when you was out in the cold. People didn't want you to reach the finish line. Unfortunately. And it it wasn't necessarily because it was you. If for, for, for some of you guys, it, it was and it wasn't. It's just the fact that it was going to remind them of what they couldn't do. It doesn't matter. It's the fact that you are the one that they know. It's the fact that they know you and they so close to you. Even if they ain't close to you, let's say this is co-workers or whatever the case may be. Or, you know, it's just people that are around you, people in your community, in your neighborhood, whoever these people are. It's the fact that they know you. But if it wasn't you, let's say if it was somebody else that was around y'all, they wouldn't want it for that person either. You get what I'm saying? Because it's the fact that these people are the ones that's not doing the actual work. And so they don't want anybody around them to be doing better than them or to, you know, even if they're doing a little bit better than them, okay, that's cool. But to have star status or to over to come from the five of pinnacles. Now, if you're in the five of pinnacles, people know what your type of energy. Some people isn't being the five of pinnacles, and then they may either stay in this energy forever. You hear about people that was, I'm gonna use my example of being homeless. You people, they was homeless for 14, 15 years, their whole life, or something like that. 
you know, so either they stay in that situation or people be out in the cold in the five, or maybe they don't, they stay single for that amount of time, right? Or whatever, you know, this could be, you get into a relationship and people around you, it's like, ugh, I don't like how, how they get into a relationship type of thing. You get what I'm saying? Because they ain't in one, but you in one that makes you, that, that this person really loves and adores you, you know? Or uh, if people are in the five of pentacles and then let's say they, you know, they make it out, but they just get into a space and they just stay in that, that space, but it's still decent, but it ain't like extravagant. You get what I'm saying? People will be okay with that. But going from the five of pentacles, almost pretty much going from rags to riches, hell no, nah, people ain't rooting for you. Hell no. Nah. You would root for those type of people, though. You the type of people that clap for the underdog. Because you know what it feels like to be the underdog. You always root for the underdog. You always root for the losing team. You get what I'm saying? But people don't want that for you. And that's what's going on here. The sun is lighting the path. The sun is making it warm. To help you get out of here. And Spirit is saying, hold back from every last one of these people. You know, for you can, for, it's almost like reap coals on their head by, you know, being kind still. You ain't got to be nice, but you could be like, mm, be unbothered. Never let, them, never let them see you sweat. Just be unbothered by their behavior, by their comments. They may try to say little snarky comments and things of that nature. Hmm. What is it? Um, you can even say true, but but irrelevant. Okay, maybe what you're saying is true, but it's irrelevant to the fucking conversation. So what the what else you got to say? And if somebody want to talk down or be all that, that's a reflection of who they are. If people don't want to see you win, that's a reflection of who they are. People trying to get under your skin, that's a reflection of who they are because that means they're purposefully going out their way. Do y'all see this? <laughs> I'm telling you, these people wanted you stuck. These people wanted you to never come about whatever situation you was in. But Spirit says, not on my watch. Spirit says, I'm leading you out. Spirit says, just be yourself. Like I said, just be yourself and see what spirit flows to you. See what brings the, see what spirit brings you this week. Whoa, the will of fortune here. Knight of Wands is rushing to you. The more you stop, the more you, this is talking about stop caring. Stop caring. Once you stop caring, it's over. Because you're not giving, you're not feeding the, you're not feeding the beast. You're not feeding that devil. You're not feeding the conflict. Stop. Don't engage. Just nod and wave, boys. Just nod and wave. And keep it moving. Keep it moving. Switch some things up. Stop talking to certain people. Stop telling certain people your business. Stop saying hi to Lucy and Mary and whoever else at work. Just go into work. Do what you got to do. And that's that. Until so you can get off that damn elevator and go somewhere else or do work for yourself or whatever the case may be. Look at what's coming at you real quick. This will of fortune. Everything changing in your life. Because you're making these changes. Now you got to be doing the work. You can't just listen to a read and say, oh, this is what's happening and yeah, yeah, yeah. It is if you're doing the work. It is if you're putting in, in the effort. Receive. And this is your this is your 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 message so you can put the effort in so you can come up out of all of this whoa look nine of swords yeah i'm telling you people stress about you receiving these gifts if the other people stress about you receiving these gifts then you know you're receiving these gifts because they know you receiving these gifts they know that you great yeah these are people that you walked away from that you ended situations with and told you it could be a job could be people at work some of y'all could have got fired, let go. People at work, somebody at work could have got you fired. They could have lied on you and you had a situation with HR. A lot of work energy here that's been coming up too and co-worker energy. Uh-huh. But this is definitely something, this is something that you, you could have did something for work and you was like, something you did for work could have put you in a certain environment. So you was like, nah, I'm going to do something else. So you walked away from that. You put an end to it. Or something just didn't work out with somebody, with a person, with a situation or something like that. And you're like, I'm good. I'm straight. I'm Gucci. <laughs> you feel me? So you said, I walk away. You said, I don't want all of that. Yeah, you got to, excuse me, you got these people stressed. I'm drinking this, what is it, Ramune? Ramune? I'm going to show it to y'all. Hold on. 
Have you ever had this? It is, you know, in the top, it has a, a ball in here. Y'all can see that marble moving around? So you got to use this thing, you know, to pop the ball, you know, to push it down into to here or whatever. It's real good, though, but that's what I'm burping up. All right, let's go ahead and um, we will close this message out. I'm trying to see what I want to Ooh. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use... these i'm gonna just pull some i'm gonna just take that it fell out bottom of the deck social media so something about your social media okay you could this a lot of this stuff could be going on on your social media too okay you guys can have people that you know is saying stuff about you or y'all know that social media drama if y'all that 30 33 was on the timer okay um three 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 but you know for any of y'all that you know got got social medias or whatever or something like that okay this could be a lot of drama going on look i was go <laughs> it came out i know y'all saw it i put it back in and it came out again so spirit is really a, a lot of you guys have the ability to communicate channel and so forth do all of these things connect divine energy all right spirit is saying talk to us Spirit is saying, what you doing? Talk to us. You're a boss here. Okay. And look, new start. You got this new start this year. So you could be a social media boss as well. Or there's some type of new start on, on social media for you as well. But yeah, it's like your spirit team was communicating with you for all this shadow work. You stand out. That's because you're a boss. You being yourself, being comfortable with you. That's what makes you a boss. Not necessarily, you know, um owning a business it's a whole lot of people that own a business but they still ain't got that boss energy you get what i'm saying they they may be it's like even if you, everybody don't possess boss energy so you ain't gotta own a business to have boss energy you get what i'm saying so a boss is a boss a boss is somebody that makes shit happen a boss move a certain way a boss lives by a certain, you know, by a, by certain values and, and morals and ethics and, and so forth. Just the way they walk, they the way they talk and, and so forth. It's like, what's up, boss? You get what I'm saying? I want to say boss set for all my ladies. <laughs> but yeah, it's like spirit, mediumship and communication. Spirit is saying, come to the edge. It's like spirit is saying, you, 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 you talk to us. So talk to us. You may talk to different, um, other uh like uh fairies and trees and you may talk to animals and plants and you may notice you talking to your plants how they're thriving and things of that nature right so yeah these are your messages i'm gonna go ahead and leave it here ashe thank you all so much for all of your continued love and support you guys can give this video a thumbs up you guys can subscribe to the channel if you guys are new welcome welcome book your personal readings down below in the description bar as well as your quantum healing and i will see you all in the next one i am nayla latrice peace